Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spain on a Fork. I hope that you guys are doing the best that you can out there. Once again, in today's episode, we're gonna go to the pantry, grab some very basic pantry staples and create an extraordinary Spanish paella. Guys, this paella has such a gorgeous flavor to it. It's very easy to make and it comes together in about 45 minutes. Like I told you guys in the previous episode where I made the white bean and potato stew during these difficult times that we're living with where the grocery stores are running out of almost every ingredient and people are getting very sick. It is so important to stock up on basic ingredients to make food that's very healthy and lifts your immune system. This paella is exactly that. Now to make this dish, two key ingredients. The first one is the rice. As you guys know, rice is a very basic staple item in any pantry, but to make a paella, you wanna use round rice. This is very similar to medium green rice or even our boiled rice, no substitutions. Otherwise the paella is not gonna have that classic, beautiful texture to it. And the second thing is the saffron. Make sure you use high quality saffron. Don't use the imitation or budget stuff. The saffron is one of the most important ingredients in a paella. Here in Spain, saffron is a basic pantry staple in any pantry. If you guys don't have some, get a tin of this saffron, not only to make this paella, but a plethora of different Spanish dishes, link in the description box below. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna begin by getting all the ingredients ready. I've got one 15 ounce can of artichoke hearts here. I'm gonna drain these into a sieve and then pan them completely dry with some paper towels. Then I'm gonna grab between 15 to 20 fresh stalks of asparagus and cut them into one inch pieces. I've already washed these and patted them dry. Roughly dice half of a red bell pepper. Finally mince between four to five cloves of garlic. And finally dice half of an onion. For the rest of the ingredients, I'm gonna grab a can of tomato sauce and reserve half a cup. Reserve one cup of round rice. Again, guys, you can substitute this for medium grain rice or even arboreal rice. Two and a half cups of a good quality vegetable broth. And for the final ingredient, one cup of frozen pre-cooked lima beans. If you can't get these in your area, you can also use the jarred ones or you can buy them uncooked and boil them for about 20 minutes before you get started. All right, guys, we have all our ingredients ready. Let's start making our Spanish paella. I'm using a traditional pan to make this paella. The size of this one is 15 inches in diameter. This recipe feeds two to three people, so this is the perfect size for this recipe. If you don't have a paella pan, you'll find a link in the description box below to the exact one that I'm using. I'm gonna heat this with a medium high heat and add in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. One minute after adding the olive oil into the pan, I'm gonna season it with some sea salt. Add in our roughly diced red bell pepper, our pieces of asparagus, and our artichoke hearts. And I'm gonna start gently mixing these ingredients together with the extra virgin olive oil. You wanna be gentle here, that way those artichoke hearts don't break apart. And also you wanna mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and all these ingredients cook evenly. Three minutes after adding these ingredients into the pan, I'm gonna add in the diced onions and continue to gently mix this around. And again guys, remember to mix this continuously, that way nothing burns. about 90 seconds after adding the onions into the pan and they're nice and translucent. I'm gonna make a well in the middle and add in our minced garlic and mix the garlics around with the extra virgin olive oil. 30 seconds after adding the garlics into the pan, you don't wanna overcook them. You want them to be nice and aromatic. I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika and give this a gentle mix, that way everything's well combined. Once everything's well mixed, I'm gonna add in the half cup of canned tomato sauce, or one cup of frozen pre-cooked lima beans, and season everything with sea salt. And once again, I'm gonna give this a gentle mix, that way all these ingredients are perfectly combined. Once everything's well mixed, I'm gonna add in the two and a half cups of vegetable broth. And pinch in half a teaspoon of saffron threads. 
and once again, give this a quick mix, that way everything's evenly divided. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm gonna let it boil for an extra minute, that way that saffron can really infuse into the broth. Then I'm gonna add in the one cup of round rice, and give this a quick mix, that way all the ingredients are evenly divided. Like I always tell you guys, after this step, you don't wanna mix the rice again because it disrupts the way that it cooks, but you can always give the pan a quick shake once in a while. About eight minutes after adding the rice into the pan, you can see a lot of that broth is starting to incorporate into the rice. I'm gonna lower this to a low medium heat and simmer it between four to five minutes. After simmering this for about four minutes and there's virtually no broth left in the pan, it's time to achieve the sogara, which is that layer of caramelized burnt rice underneath. I'm gonna hit this to a medium high heat and go between 60 to 90 seconds. And like I always tell you guys, different stove tops and different pans may take less or longer to get that perfect sogara. It just takes a little practice. Then I'm gonna remove the paya pan from the heat and cover it with some foil paper and cover it with a dishcloth. Like I always tell you guys, this is such an important step when you're making a paella. This is what finishes cooking up that rice. After five minutes, I'm gonna uncover the paella. And oh my lord, look how insane this turned out. For the last touch, I'm gonna garnish it with a couple lemon wedges. Okay guys, our Spanish pie is done. How beautiful did it turn out? Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. <laughs> did you guys see that layer of soap on that? This looks insane, here we go. What a beautiful combination of flavors. I mean, come on guys, we just have the most basic ingredients, basic pantry staples, and then whatever veggies I have in the fridge and the flavors are mind blowing, incredible. The saffron, the paprika, the extra virgin olive oil, and the combination of all those vegetables. It's just, wow, it's a mind blowing experience, guys. Super easy to make, very healthy, lifts the immune system, the kind of foods you should be eating during these difficult times that we are living right now. Really quick before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Jim Owens. Again, Jim, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. It's thanks to people like you and the rest of my patrons why Spain on a Fork continues forward. If you guys are not a patron of Spain on a Fork, consider becoming one. It helps me out with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find a link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.